You're watching the city's 24-hour information channel. TV Tacoma. The one to watch. The Daffodil Festival has become a time-honored tradition in Tacoma and Pierce County. In 2002, TV Tacoma examined the history of the festival. The Daffodil Festival started out in 1926 as a garden party, where people would come from miles around to see the many varieties of the beautiful flower grown here. But in 1934, thanks to Tacoma photographer Lee Merrill, the festival we know today was formed. He suggested using the daffodil blooms that were usually thrown away or used for fertilizer as decorations for a parade. The very first daffodil queen was Elizabeth Watton, who just happened to be walking by when Lee Merrill realized that no one had been chosen for this important role in the new festival. Since that time, thousands of young women in Pierce County have participated in daffodil royalty. Today's royal court is made up of 19 princesses, one from each of the participating Pierce County high schools. Coronation night culminates a challenging selection process with one of the princesses being chosen queen based on numerous qualifications including academic standing, speaking ability, personality, and attitude. The grand floral parade has taken on many shapes and sizes throughout the years, but floats and marching bands have always been a mainstay. Most people you talk to, young or old, have either lined the parade route to watch the event or have been a participant. From early on, it was easy to see that the float builders took pride in showing off their communities. The same can be said today. Months of design concepts and then the actual construction of the floats take place before we ever see them make their debut in the Grand Parade. One of the changes, though, that has taken place throughout the years when it comes to floats is the use of the daffodil. Well, years ago, the valley was full of flowers. Uh, there were daffodil fields everywhere. I grew up in Pierce County and I remember floats in the parade when I was a little girl were just covered with daffodils. There really are only about two growers left in the valley now, so the, the fields are gone and you don't see the lavish array of daffodils in the parade like you did um, 30 or 40 years ago. Now the parade and the festival are more to honor the daffodil as being a significant part of the history of Pierce County. We still do use fresh daffodils, but not in the abundance that we used to. The Grand Floral isn't the only parade that struts its stuff during April. The Junior Daffodil Parade, which has been in the Proctor area for many years now, has become a time-hard tradition. It began in 1962 and is designed towards children. You'll see a lot of costumes, plenty of pets, and even some non-motorized floats. The parade continues to grow with entries now coming from outside Pierce County as well. It's an exciting day when the Junior Daffodil Parade takes place. A lot of anticipation goes into that day for the kids. They've, they've worked really hard to build their floats or learn their songs or um, march and play their instruments. Um, but I think that they're all truly very excited on that day to get to come out and show what they do well. And they just shine. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I think just more kids get involved and everybody wants to relive when they were a kid. And, um, just come out and, and feel part of the community and, and join in the fun. You'll find the third parade of the Daffodil Festival along the Ruston Way waterfront. The Marine Parade features decorated boats, of course with daffodils. The Tacoma Yacht Club takes the lead in making sure that everything runs smoothly. Awards are given out each year and the shoreline is always packed to watch these floating works of art make their way down to the Theophos Waterway. It takes funding to put on any event of this magnitude, and that's where sponsorship comes into play. Businesses throughout the Tacoma Pierce County area know how much the celebration means to the people of the community, and they are more than willing to help keep the tradition alive. Well, one of the things that has been helpful is being a member of the community is knowing what uh, events have the most importance. Like, uh, we've been the sponsor of the annual Daffodil Parade, which is something that's big, a big part of the, our community. The first year we uh, got in to help with the Daffodil, it actually wasn't going to happen unless they found a, a major contributor. And we stepped in and we contributed $50,000 for that event. Well, it's been our goal to be good neighbors. Uh, when we opened the casino, we wanted to have a positive impact on the community. And to do that, we need to participate in a number of activities 